Hey everybody, welcome to My Green Pets. I'm William Green, and today is August the 26th, 2017. Guys, I'm so excited because the orchid I've been waiting to bloom for about three years has finally opened up today, and it is very cool. So let's get right over there and look at it. This is Bulbophyllum echinolabium, and it's got three spikes on it, and one of them has finally opened up. And I actually watched this flower open this morning. It opened very quickly. Um, the petals kind of popped open very suddenly. And then over the course of an hour or so, that dorsal uh, sepal uh, rose up. And uh, the flower I don't think is completely open yet, but it's getting there. Let's just look here. Look at the beautiful veining and color that we have. Very, very nice. Alright, let's get around front to it and see what it looks like. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. I'm so glad to be here today. This flower is kind of famous for having a stinky fragrance, um, but uh, either it hasn't developed yet, or it's just that maybe this just isn't a really stinky variety. I don't know. It just opened this morning, so maybe we'll give it a day or two to develop it. But you can smell something when you get, you know, your nose right up to the flower, but uh, it's not terribly offensive. Certainly not anything to. Uh, it doesn't bother me at all, really. I think it's kind of fascinating anyway because it's a it's a floral fragrance, you know. If I was putting my nose up in a, in a, you know, in a, in a dead animal, that would be different. But it's just, it's a flower, you know. So the flower, the fragrance is, it's okay. I'm not going to get sick from smelling a floral fragrance. It's just, you know. I'm just glad that there are no flies uh, yet because I've seen pictures or heard stories of, you know, flies pollinating the flower as soon as it opens and then the flower immediately closes. That would not be nice. And there it is. I'm super happy with it. And speak of the devil, look at that little fly. He's trying to get in there and mess up my flower. Get away. Dude, I've been waiting for you to bloom for three years. Why did it take so long? I don't know, man. It's like, I just... I just want to take my time, man. You know, I didn't want to. I didn't want to rush things. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I can understand. You got three spikes now on you, so it's cool. Yeah, man. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a nice show. I promise. You're gonna like it. Get out of here. Go away. Shoo. No. No. This flies in heaven. It's like I've never smelled anything like it. It's, it's, it's the best thing I've ever smelled. He's intoxicated by the fragrance. He's like, uh-uh, I ain't moving. I'm staying right here. Mine! Mine! Echinolabium is a sequentially blooming flower, which means that when this flower drops off here, this next one will come up and take its place. You can see these are the petals of the next flower already poking out of the spike. And I don't know how many flowers the spike will produce, but I've heard that they can produce up to eight. That would be awesome. This is the first time I've ever had three of my bubble films in bloom at the same time. In addition to the Echinolabium over here, this Rufinum. It's kind of going out of bloom, but I think we can still say that it's in bloom. And it's got another spike developing down there. You can see it in the shadows. So that'll be blooming out in the next month or so. And then over here is another bulbophyllum that's in bloom. Well, it's almost in bloom. This is Antoniferum. And Antoniferum's little flower will be opening up just in the next day or two. It's starting to split open already. 
A little Japanese wind orchid has been in bloom for about a week and that's just about as long as these flowers are going to last. You can tell they're starting to get brown spots on them and I don't think they're going to be around much longer but they've been really nice while they've lasted and they smell so 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 nice in the evenings and if you come out here early in the morning you can you can catch a whiff of their fragrance as it kind of fades for the rest of the day. Let's take a quick look at my Cattleya rex seedlings. Um, I think it's weird how they're all kind of different colors. Some of them are more like purple, like some got really purple leaf there. And then some of them are paler. Some of them are a richer green. Some of them are more yellowish. Um, I don't know why that is. I guess each plant is just different. I just hope they're healthy enough. The temperature has dropped a little bit recently. The nights are much cooler than they have been, and hopefully they're going to respond favorably to this. These are the bigger seedlings, and of course they seem to be doing much better. Um, again, these have some different colors on them too, and hopefully that's going to reflect in their flower color one day when they finally bloom. But all in all, they, they seem to be doing okay, and the, the mounted ones really do seem to be doing doing all right okay guys well uh, today is a pretty happy day for this orchid grower I hope that you've enjoyed and I will be working on making a uh, how I grow video for this plant Bobophila mechanolabium as well as for this plant uh, the max 10 coconut orchid I've gotten a couple requests for that as well so I'll be working on those in the coming weeks and that's all for today. I'm going to enjoy my bulbo film to the max. Just spend all day out here staring at it maybe. Um, yeah, so thanks for joining me. I'm William Green. These are my green pets and we'll see you next time.